September fishing at Bear. It was so foggy on the way in here, I couldn't even see Hapatool Valley Road sign for the uh, exit. Crazy. Not foggy here though. Excited for a great day. Let's catch some fish. I guess I got a fish. Not a big one, but <laughs> that was crazy. Bass number one. Hey, hey. Took till 6.39 to get it. I'm trying to figure out the lake. A lot of, a lot of muck. Got a backlash on my spinner bait. Let it drop to the bottom. Got it on the bottom, on a spinnerbait. Well, you know, it's been a slow day so far. It's like 7.45, I caught that one tiny fish. So time to try to find some uh, fish out in the middle or go for bluegill or something, I don't know. Finally something. Good grief, finally, decent bass, good, Whew. spinnerbait fish, all right. one all right what to do what to do it is the slowest day i've ever had on barrett three fish two of them were about that long one of them was decent as you saw um heard about lots of boiling fish but i haven't seen i saw one <laughs> that was it That's it. This I've never seen. So I'm in the middle of the lake, trolling with a suspending Rapala or bass, but end up catching a bluegill, shallow, trolling on a jerk bait. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe it's turning around. First bluegill. Well, that was uh, that was a unique situation. <laughs> I think I need a beer. No idea. I'm, I. What's a bluegill doing out here, like in the middle of Barrett? It's seventy-six feet of water. Bizarre. But we're catching fish. So I was at, uh, in Poway yesterday, 
um, stopped over at Distillers Outlet and asked them if they had anything brand new uh, for a beverage. And Dave over there said, yeah, try this. So this is Pure Project, which is here in San Diego. And it's a collab with Ghost Town Brewing, Serpents in the Bramble, West Coast IPA. Like the, uh, like the can. Pure Project's got some tasty beverages. I don't know anything about Ghost Town Brewing. Doesn't really say much on the can, but. Crack it. For West Coast, it's got a pretty juicy uh, nose on it. It tastes more like a hazy than a West Coast. Very juicy. Um, like I said, 6.9%, so it's right in the sweet spot. It's really good. Super aromatic. Nice mouthfeel. And again, the the mouthfeel and the aroma is more like a, a hazy. Definitely find that. Thanks for the recommendation there, Dave. Appreciate it. Love the snakes on there. Now, I've caught plenty of crappie trolling out here like that, but never a bluegill. <laughs> You never know. I did get that. Oh, it's my first fish on my other new rod. I told you before I found this company Kistler online. This is the Kistler Helium. So I I broke my Daiwa rod. Found these guys. It's a seven foot medium light, six to 10 pound test. Needed something to replace the Daiwa. Very excited about this. This company has been great so far. So, gonna use it for a drop shot. Catching fish. Broke it. Using four pound test for uh, bluegill. But I've caught more fish on this side than I did all morning on the other side. Over in Pine Arm now. Massive. Massive best. Trying a new spot, um, but I'm gonna give you an old favorite. Red Barnes. Cutwater Lime Margarita. Jimmy Buffett just died. It was coincidence. I didn't do it on purpose, but just saying. Enjoy Margaritaville. Okay, so Cutwater. So if you don't know, Cutwater, when Ballast Point sold to Constellation, um, they retained the Spirits Division and their canned cocktails, which was Cutwater. And they've got some amazing canned cocktails. I drank one on here before, but uh, didn't actually talk about the, the Margarita. So the Margarita is... Margarita with Cutwater Tequila, Triple Sec, and Lime Juice. It is a whopping 12.5%. And it's gluten-free, which is nice. Super excellent margarita taste. My favorite of all of the uh, canned margaritas 
or even canned cocktails for that matter that I've ever had. But I do a twist with this. And this was uh, born here at Barrett a couple years back. Brad is with me on that one. These are smaller red vines. Red vines. Cutwater margarita with a red vine straw. Oh yeah, baby. All day long. Well, I, 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 no, you can't do this all day long. <laughs> but the flavor is really good. I know some people have said it's a little too acidic for them. Add in this. Sweetens it up a little bit. Cheers, guys. Let's find the fish. It's getting a crunch time here, folks. have a pattern, a pattern to catch bass. Now the thing about the area I found right here is it's the only big rock edge that goes down without all the slime. rig fish. Alright. Needed that. We needed that. There we go. Get more of those. on that new rig. <laughs> Not as big, but still awesome. There we go. This is on a rig I got on Amazon and also another company called Missile baits. This is their destroyer. That was awesome. First one on that. So this is a, a head that has the um, blade on it. I thought it looked cool. But... So 
So I was looking for a new creature bait and I found those uh, missile baits. And uh, that's the destroyer in the green pumpkin. be a good one but you know what got a few more than I thought I was gonna get and now it's time to head home um, tried a new rod got things on a new rig tried a couple new beverages great day always fun being on Barrett even better when you guys are here cheers thanks for watching see you next time